see a very heated protest in Jerusalem at Balfour, protest these demonstrations in Tel Aviv, including tonight. Is there a sort of window of opportunity you see here for the opposition now, uh, a sort of growing passion in the streets that could benefit uh, your party and others in opposition? Well, it's not an opportunity for us. It's a, an opportunity for the Israeli people. Uh, we need to change this uh, government as, as fast as possible because it's a terrible government which uh, mainly uh, take care of, of the destiny of uh, the prime minister and these judicial problems rather than uh, the, the common good of the people. Uh, therefore, this government should be ended uh, as fast as possible. Right. Uh, in more con concrete terms, then what are you, what are you, what is your party suggesting should be done that the government is not doing now? Well, first and uh, first of all, uh, the medical crisis is, uh, is handled, you know, in a terrible way. Um, the decisions uh, are being made in uh, not in the right time, uh, not the right measures. Uh, for instance, uh, look at the economical crisis. Uh, we should have uh, adopted the German uh, method uh, weeks ago, and unfortunately, we provide the employees uh, with some sort of payments which not enable the employers to keep the employees, which um, and we, we didn't stimulate the ability of the employers to keep their employees. Uh, so this is just one example. Right. You know, other examples are, you know, concerning the the medical measures we we have taken. Uh, concerning that, uh, all the check. Uh, system should be much more effective, much more efficient. Uh, months ago, uh, no one can give, provide an answer why we are not uh, first in the world concerning uh, our checking uh, system. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it's all about the, the political needs of the prime minister rather than the common good of uh, the Israeli people. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, as a former deputy chief of staff, do you believe the IDF should take the lead role here? Or a figure, for example, like former chief of staff, Gadi Eisenkot, should be made the sort of uh, coronavirus czar here? Look, uh, I commanded the Home Front Command for three and a half years. Uh, I prepared mainly for such, such crises. And no doubt that the Home Front Command should uh, handle this crisis as the most uh, premier element in uh, Israel. Uh, they know how to do it. They know how to handle uh, a crisis. They know uh, how to uh, cooperate with others, how to smooth all the friction between the different ministries, uh, the Home Front Command prepare for that, train for that. Uh, they have the right, uh, I would say, the right spirit in order to cope with such crisis. And unfortunately, only very small faction of or friction of the Home Front Command capabilities uh, utilized during this crisis. It's a shame. We don't. We do not need some some kind of uh, a special person in order to handle, you know, the crisis. Uh, the commander of the Home Front Command should be the most premier figure uh, in uh, handling this uh, crisis. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, talk about replacing the government and polls show the public's dissatisfied with Prime Minister Netanyahu's performance right now. But they also show that there not necessarily would be any change of, in government. Opposition parties have made some uh, advancements in the polls, but not enough to change the government. I do believe that an election would actually change anything here. Well, to make right now any prediction concerning uh, future election is 
is, is, is you know, it, it's unreasonable. Uh, we are in a crisis, and this crisis will change the political map of Israel, no doubt. Uh, it's always like that during crises. Uh, look what happened in the Israeli political system after the Yom Kippur War. Uh, we are in a different Yom Kippur. Uh, this is a terrible economical and medical crisis. Uh, it's, we are way below our capabilities. We are well below um, what we should be done during the last uh, few months. And I have no doubt that it will change the Israeli political map. All right. I just want to make clear to our viewers, yeah, yeah, you were referencing the Yom Kippur War, the 1973 war, and saying we are facing a crisis uh, on that order of magnitude, I guess. Yair Golan yeah. uh, of the Merits Party, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. Thank you, and thank you, and good evening. Good